previously on. What the fuck is that? Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Come get your dog, bitch! Come get your fucking dog! Oh my god. Piper, get over here, Piper! Hi! Stop standing there! Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're literally jumping this bitch. They're literally jumping this fucking bitch. Ah, oh, you fucking zombies. Piper, come on. Come on, Piper, please get up. I just realized I don't have another stimmy, and I'm sorry, but please get the fuck up. I really need you. Because we're not about to be here in the middle of this boom -a fuck town. Okay, thank god, let's go. Now back to Fallout 4, Episode 7. Okay, so I'm on my way to try and save Valentine again. It's just me and Piper. And I know earlier we did manage to get a good number of these guys, but at this point, I'm not giving up at all. In fact, I'm gonna keep on going. Damn, his legs are gone. Long gone. Now, now what you're wondering, what are you doing? I thought you said you were going to get the suit and everything. Well, I changed my mind. I'm not getting my suit. In fact, I decided I was going to go and, let's just say, extend my HP, my health points. I don't know where Piper is at, but I know she's coming in a moment, so. My goodness, I just don't like how quiet it is. Okay, not anymore, sorry, but still, it's just grossly quiet. And the fact that they're living under these tunnels, too, I feel the wind. Is there anyone here? Huh. I guess no one's here? Ooh, no. No, no. You did not see anything. Your ears are tricking you. So I assume that is where we would escape, so... Oh, you're about to lose your mind literally now. Fuck, hold on. <clears throat> you're about to lose your mind now, bitch! Nope. Nope. Come on. There you go. There you go! And what? That's right, I'm not getting killed because I, you know, extended my health points. You can say I'm cheating. I say it's more fun. So fuck it. Wait a minute, Valentine is in a vault? Get out. 114. Hmm. Obviously, I'll be able to open with my Pip Boy, but yeah. This should be pretty interesting. To think that I've spent all my time and energy to get out of a vault, only to come into another one. Unbelievable. No, bitch, you lights out. Damn. Beautiful, beautiful. Where's Piper, bro? I miss her already. Like, she not coming through? 
No one's here. Oh, fresh vault suits. I'm so keeping these. I really don't care. Ooh, med kits. Yes. Wait, I didn't choose to put the computer. What's this? Okay, so after many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the vault family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open that great big gear door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we've con contracted outside of Vault-Tec for construction on this one, since it is utilizing a unique space. By repurposing the former Park Street subway station, we will be seeing a decrease in building cost, as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with the Vault's observational studies, which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again, Vault Tech Management. Huh. Warning, this memoriam is meant for members of the Vault 114 Science Division only or those with appropriate security clearance levels SL through 4 plus. All others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to the overseer or a member of vault security. As if I'm going to actually snitch on myself. Fuck you. As mentioned in your briefing, Fault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitating co solely with others of Boston's upper class. Oh, so 114 is basically a vault full of rich, rich people. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Wow, they're playing them dirty. Multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single room apartments. Dining and bathing will be in shared quarters and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position for many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias? Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations as such. Please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to residents? Are you serious? What kind of a sick game is this? So basically, they want some corrupted, fucked up person to be the overseer. Come on out. Oh my goodness. I... Time to put you on ice. No, time to put you on ice. Anyways. Ooh, purified water. But anyways, holy shit. This... I could understand why this fault did not last, honestly. So not only did they lie to the rich people about their living conditions... So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? You know, it's the union boys to work some construction job that'll go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Hmm. Sounds like Waterbury. Anyways, 
Pay this. Pay this. Yeah, boy. Anyways. You know, one of the triggermen has a point. I mean, what's the best way to keep someone engaged in working? By promising them continued work. I really don't like how Piper's not with me. I'm literally doing this by myself. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I came, I saw, and I conquered. Thank me later. Mm -hmm. Why are you running away, bro? Come on. Come on. Stop running away. Look at all these people. Thank god I, ch I manipulated my health because I would have been fucked right here. You really thought you can swing on me, bro? You really thought you can swing? At someone with a minigun. That is so... You know what? Hold on. That's cute. Bitch. Ooh. Really? How do I... Oh, lord. <sighs> How's my health looking? Busted. Yay! <laughs> oh... Let me see here. Let me just do some... Oh, I don't even have stim packs. Mm. Fuck it. Time to laser this bitch. I know one of my arms is messed up, but... As soon as I find a stim pack, I'm gonna use it. Alright. Who's coming with me? Oof. Hold on, I'm not about to have them break or kill off any of my body parts at this point. Where the fuck are you? You know what? I'm going down here, bro. Fuck it. Ooh, that does not look safe. I think I saw them. Are you coming? Oh, pussies. Come on. I'm trying to figure out where they're shooting at. Ah, I got one. Next! Ha uh ha! -huh. Hey, you need to stop shooting before you become one of your friends and he doesn't stop. Okay. Anyways, I gave you a warning. You didn't even take it. So that's basically on you. Damn, my arm's fucked. Of course, I've sworn I took an astimmy. Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Oof. Okay. Ooh, bobby pins? Yes. No stimmy, though. Oh, I suddenly feel better. How nice. Damn, I'm really alone. I'm so sad. I was really enjoying Piper's company. I don't know why she disappeared on me. But fuck it. The show must go on. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. You'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing. You got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Well, not anymore, buddy, because he's gone, so... Say no more, shit. Let's go. Take number, okay. Nice. 
You're Valentine? A fucking robot? That's a good question. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man. Not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles? I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Good. That's all I wanted. Perfect. Malone's crew here used to be small time. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 14B. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 14, how would you settle it? Obviously, take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. You won't, yes, because we they are looking sure for an anarchist. Yeah, they were looking for an anarchist. And you were just not the one. Anyways, Valentine, what were you saying, hon? Nick. You really want to do this here with these human cockroaches around every corner? Fine, we'll talk later. Like it's not a big deal or anything. What ofs. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? You know, it's your job if you really want to fit. Hey, Valentine. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. Wait, Rav, that was Hector to get down here. Where the heck is he? Question is, where the heck are you guys? Who's there? Ooh, we got caught. Fuck it. Let's go. Got one out. Valentine, cover me. Okay. And the third one? Is he in here? Are you serious? All right, let's go. Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Yeah, it ain't my problem. Let me see if I can get it open. Okay, take your time. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other Look side. Look at his hand. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Valentine, come on, buddy. I already lost one companion. Let's go. I'll follow you if you're like that. But you know what? Whatever. Come on. Mm hmm. Perfect. I actually want to get out of here. Can't stand this place already. Especially with the history behind Vault 114. Yo! Valentine, are you okay? Yo, he took a swing at you, my boy. No, no, we're not doing this. You really think you can shoot me from behind like a pussy? Oh shit, Valentine. Move, move. Anyways, who's next? Huh. Okay. You know, after this, 
I'm gonna take a nice hard drink because ooh, Valentine's staking his ass hit, bro. Like, bro. More stairs. Who built this damn ball? The fitness instructor. <laughs> Same. Fuck these stairs. They're mad work. Shit. That one. Come on. Got two. The end. Nothing to see here. Get him alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh ironic, but don't let that fool you. Shit. Dangerous. Okay. I meant you said that. We step through this door, get ready for anything. Oh damn. Alright. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. What? I'll just Run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Mickey. This ain't the old day. Piper! This ball, now you came! Ask, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a She just walked away, bro. I told you we should have just killed him! Piper, why are you go- had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. You're Skinny Malone, bro? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Yo. What's the deal with you people and Nick anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> it's troublemaker here. It used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Hmm. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. Are you serious, bro? Look at yourself. Darla is playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. You're... You're right. I am? Things have gone nothing but south since she walked into my life. I... What are you talking about, Skinny? Oh! <laughs> saying you're dragging me and this whole operation down a bad road, Toots. We're through. Damn. Fine then. I'm going back home. I don't need you, you fat ass. Oh, gonna hit you where it hurts. Damn. Now what am I gonna do about you two? I know. I'm gonna give you until the count of ten. Bitch, I'll be gone. Ugly faces after that. I'm gonna start shooting until there ain't no more bullets left in this whole vault. Let's go. Bye. I can't believe Piper just walked off in a in the middle of a standoff. Like I gotta beat her ass just for just for that shit, dude. I can't believe I talked Skinny Malone into dumping his girl and leaving us alive. Like holy shit, my charisma is on point. Holy shit. Nick? Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. <laughs> now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. 
Thank God, bro. Thank goodness. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. There you go. Have to level up my charisma, which is now a ten. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always Giggity. keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things can go from. Of course, because of these doggos. These fucking mutated ass Resident Evil doggos. Anyways, what were you saying, Nick? Another one? Anyways. Yeah, I know. I dealt with some of them when I first came to Diamond City. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And this shit is fucked up, abandoned. I'm starting to think we're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah, we're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, thank God we're in Diamond City. I can kiss the ground if it's if it wasn't so radiated at this point. Oh, Nick. Not my business. Bye. I better see Piper there. And then when I do, I'm gonna cuss her ass out because she was grimy as fuck just to leave us out. Just like that. She literally walked through Skinny Malone and just left the fucking bolt like the fuck damn Nick you in that much of a rush bro it's not that serious I mean my son's kidnapped but damn ooh and I'll get the latest issue of public hearances too Good to see that the radio is still alive and kicking. Alright, Diamond City. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Yeah. Oh my god, I am so happy to be back in Diamond City. But I'm starting to really get worried about Piper because I still haven't seen her. Ain't got nothing better to do. Listen, bitch! I know you got the new issue of Public Occurrences, so don't give me lip and give me that fucking newspaper. Hey, lady, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Thank you, fucking hoe. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies. I hope you stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.